um, do exactly what serves you and don't do a thing that doesn't. If there's something we're going to do that doesn't work for you tonight, then don't do it. And just because it worked last Tuesday and Friday morning at 10 and Saturday at noon doesn't mean it's going to work tonight just right, you know? And each and every one of us have this different layout and have this different set of clothes. And um, what our job is to do is just keep these clothes clean and fit and, 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 and healthy and then uh, we'll use them as long as they'll allow us to carry our souls around and then we'll go on to another set. But uh, that being said, uh, treat yourself well tonight. This the practice is to do nothing but benefit you. It's here for you to grow your practice deeper. It's here for you to control your consciousness. It's here for you to relax from the stresses of the day. It's here for you to build your immunity, you know, to get your endocrine system kicking and, and get control of your sympathetic nervous system and build structure and stability and strength and not just flexibility. Yoga is so paralleled with flexibility, it makes me insane. So it's way more than that. We're gonna create space, but it's gonna happen also between our ears and between our ribs and uh, all that kind of length and, and that's it. So have fun, do your thing, enjoy your practice. Welcome from the Outer Banks Yoga Studio via my backyard. My name is Pickles, <clears throat> otherwise known as Aunt Howard. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> Sit up nice and tall. Let's breathe, babes. Breathe in through your nose, breathe out through your nose. Breathe in through your nose, retain the breath for a split second. And allow a long, slow exhalation to just let the day go. Allow a long, slow exhalation soothe the consciousness, distill the consciousness. Inhale big and fill your ribs with prana. Fill and spread each one of your ribs wide. Fill the bottom of your lungs. Gently retain the breath. Hold. And allow that long, slow exhalation to just pull everything away from the center. Allow the periphery of your body to become completely smooth. Allow your shoulders to drop from the ears. Allow the space between your eyebrows to become smooth. Inhale. Energize, lengthen, elongate. Retain, still, conscious. Exhale, smooth. Length, transition. Here. Good, breathe in, breathe out. Allow all the ripples on your conscious lake to just go and dissipate, to ring farther and farther away. With every exhalation, those rings of judgment, fear, anxiety, like and dislike, just go away. Each and every exhalation pushes those rings across your conscious lake until it is smooth, until it is still, until it's plate glass. Now I invite you to just constrict the back of the throat just a pinch and make the emotion sounds. You all know how. It would be really hard to explain Ujjayi Pranayama in Kansas, but I should have no trouble here as we are little children of the sea. Make those sounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Allow that breath to be loud as it wants, especially we're home. People that are practicing from home, man, breathe big. Sound like a northeaster. Ujjayi, pranayama, stay there. When you stop hearing that beautiful sound, that means your mind has drifted elsewhere. So get a hold of it. Come on back. the shoulders to the ears, roll them up, back and down, fingers find the floor. Turn the palms over, reach out and then up. Palms together, palms together, reach but stay rooted, keep your gaze high. Slowly bring only the chin to the chest and reach for the back of the wall or back room or back of the yard or wherever the hell you are. Spread your ribs wide, keeping the arms behind the ears. Exhale, flex the wrist, push away side walls, chin to chest, release. Inhale, turn them over and grab as much of that air across every fingertip as you can. Slowly bring the chin to the chest, reach back and open up. Exhale, push away sidewalls, release. Good, chin to the chest. Inhale, reach out and then up. 
Palms together, palms together, reach. Exhale, push away, sidewall, stop, and three, nine. Push to the right and left. Turn the palms forward. Good. Now, bring those hands together and squeeze. Good, squeeze. Push them towards each other. Push, 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 push. And then release the hands, flex the wrist, spread the fingers wide. Take the thumb all the way over to the pad in front of the pinky. Grab the index finger, the next finger, the third finger, and then squeeze down. Stretch across the top of that thumb. Flex the wrist more, push, engage, lift your navel, spread the ribs wide. Good, exhale, release the fingers, quick, yeah. Take your left hand over to the top of the right, pull them back, stretch across the bottom of the forearm. And then gently spin the fingers in the hand, taking the forearm high to the sky. Good, release, flex. Flex down, stretch across the top. Inhale up, spread the fingers wider. Right hand to the left, pull back. Gently, spin the fingers in the hand, send the palm up. Good, release, flex. Fist, flex them down. Hard, hard, hard. Release. Take them over, break them all the way over to the left. And then drop that right arm under the knee. Place the elbow in the crux, then slowly take your gaze to the left. Left arm crux, there you go. Release the posture, inhale the arms high. Exhale, push away side walls, chin to chest, scoop out your belly. Inhale, grab air like you need a bunch of it. Get up. Exhale, let it go and stop at three and nine. Again, flex the wrist. Push further. Nice. Take the right arm across this time into the crux to the left. Pull it across your chest so it's parallel to the floor and take your gaze to the right. Look the other way over. Yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah. Now pull. Good. Untether the arms. Inhale them up. Reach. Slowly bring the thumbs down, past the third eye, slow, mindful, and remind yourself not to judge. Slow by your lips as you remember to say kind and truthful words. And then plant them in between your chest there, in Anjali Mudra, bow your head, set an intention for your practice. Breathe peace. Set an intention for your practice, breathe peace within, create peace, and maintain it around you. Gaze in the room and have them above. Reach, 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 reach. And on the exhalation, twist to the left. Bringing the right hand outside. Lift and lengthen. Exhale, twist. You know it starts behind the navel. Takes the ribs, the ribs take the shoulder, the shoulder takes the chin, the chin takes the eyes, the eyes then close. Come on out on tether. Side to side as you remove any flesh from the sit bones. Grab the knees, pull the heart through. Hinge forward and slowly look up. Soften to the belly. Exhale completely. Inhale, send the crown of the head high. Lengthen the cervical spine, lean back, engage your core. Chin to chest, open up the space between your scapula. Inhale up, this time you swan dive forward, leaning with a flat back hinge and then take your hip circles to the left. And you know the routine, anybody that's practiced with me before, Ground down through your sits bones, strong behind your belly, and then let your lotus just bloom. Giant movements up top, relax the head and neck. Ears hit the shoulders across the chops, ear the shoulders, chin across the chest. Big, 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 big. Good, come on through center, remove any flesh from the sits bones. Again, you sit up nice and tall. Contract and lift the shoulders to the front of the earlobe. Bring them closer together, closer together, closer together so they squeeze in your jawline. Lift them up higher, roll them all the way back and down, all the way back and down till the hands find the floor. Sit up nice and tall, stick in this chest, the sternum between the biceps. Lift, lift, lift. Turn the palms over, reach out, then up. You gotta get more length, babies. We need more length. We can't twist our spines until we lengthen the spine, so reach, but stay rooted. And on the exhalation, twist to the right. As you exhale, you empty the last 15% of the lungs. You reach as far as you can with your vision, but then you close your eyes without twerking the neck. Breathe peace. Untether, come on out, remove any flesh again, side to side. Pull the heart through. 
Hinge forward with the flat back and take your hip circles in the other direction. So sit bones. Stick those roots deep in the mud. Good. Strong behind the belly. That's the cosmic consciousness right there. That's the water column of consciousness we talked about in your cosmic way. Your conscious way. Allow your upper body to bloom. So every yoga teacher in the world has made this cheese ball yogic metaphor of the lotus. But a thousand petals move. Make them big. Bloom, bloom, bloom like a lotus. Relax your head and neck. Ear to the shoulder. Eyes are closed. Feel big. But grounded. Move with your breath. This is vinyasa. Come to sit up nice and tall. Sit comfortably. I'm going to do it again. I did it yesterday for fun and ode to my old friend, Joy Brissett. Hatha yoga teacher, experienced integral yoga teacher and an influence on my practice a whole lot. A wonderful gal, a wonderful woman. <clears throat> we forget a lot about the eye, so all we do is practice our hamstrings. We got to get our lumbar spines all together, but we got to stretch the eyes. So my kids made reference to it the other day, like my eyes are kind of sore after that practice. So that's good. They're a muscle that needs that training too, and it's an ability that we need to not let go. So we'll train. Sit up nice and tall. Keeping your head completely still, look up as far as you can. You're going to look crazy, but your people practicing at home, no one can see you, so who gives a shit? Look up. Look completely down past the nose. Don't move your head. Look all the way to the right. And way over to the left. <laughs> look up. And now start to make a circle, just like a clock, clockwise. Stay as far as you can in the periphery of the vision. Go slow so you can make the circle as grand as possible, stretching those eye muscles. Good, now pick up the pace. Let's get crazy looking. <laughs> Damn, I wish I could see you, Lucas. <laughs> Look up. Go the other way. This is hot thigh. Integral yoga, taught to me by a friend. Trained at Yogaville. Come through center. Take your hands in front of you, rub them. Rub them faster. Rub them faster. Create as much heat as you can. Get them hot. Hot, hot. More, 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 more. Place them over the eye. Oh, that's not. Oh, yeah. All right, let those hands go. Now we can see. Oh, I can see it clear now. Come on up and over. Keep the toes hooked. Keep the knees wide. Soften your belly. Line up the wrist, elbow, and shoulder. Come forward as if you're doing Bhujangasana with a oh, delightful hip opening. Portal frog. Then slowly untether the feet. Bring those thighs up so they're 90 degrees. 90 degrees in the knee, 90 degrees in the ankle. Turn the inner ankle down. Is this getting any easier for you? <laughs> now soften your belly. Good. Now soften your cosmic garden. Get it down low. Drop your belly. Drop your belly. Oh, yeah. Turn those inner thighs down. Oh, yes, indeed. Good. Relax. Now bring the hands under the shoulders. Rotate them back and down. Hug the ribs. Lift just your heart. Keep the belly soft. Oh, yeah. Pull the mat. Look up. Close your eyes. Sun on your face. Bring the toes together. Lift the knees. And there we go. All right. Keep an eye on that. Be ready. All right, table it up. Wrist, elbow, shoulder in line. Tuck your toes, drop your belly, pull your heart through. Look out, Marjasana. Pitalasana, cat and cat. Tuck the toes, drop the belly, pull the heart through. Look up. Exhale, round the back cat. Warming up the thoracic spine, pull it through. And exhale, relax. Lift the upper back. Neutral spine. Right knee in towards center. Inhale the left leg behind you. Roll out the ankle. Exhale, round the back knee to chest. Inhale it back. Bend the knee, point to chest. Bend the right knee and place the sole under the left knee. Maybe you extend the leg. And then you keep it up. Wrap the elbows back, touch your chin and chest. Inhale up. Now drop your belly, point your toe, and place the top of your head into your foot. Is mine close? Just an inch. Just an inch more. Good, extend the leg slow. Bring the right knee down. Exhale, round the back, knee to chest. Inhale it back. 
Right foot out as you open to the left, Ardha Chandrasana. You lift up with left hand space between the scapula. Send the heel of the foot back. Find that posture if it serves you by bending the knee, but if it doesn't serve you, don't do it. Lift your heart, look up, out and over. Breathe now. Release and reach up. Take your gaze over to your right thumb and slowly place that left foot down gracefully. Fold forward with passive flexion in the foot. Inhale up, bend the knee. Arms come high, right hip flexor forward. Lift the heart. Slowly drop your arms to cactus. Spread the fingers wide, keep lifting your heart. Bring only the chin to the chest, extend the arms. Palms face forward. And then slowly twist to the left. Turn your right palm over, drop the left. Twisted, peaceful monkey warrior. Windmill the arm, frame the foot. Dorsal flexion as you fold. Inhale up, bend the knee, monkey. Drop the left, all the way around to the right hip. Spread the fingers wide. Come on down. Open to the left, bend the knee. Grab the foot. Heel will come into your bum. Come to the knife edge of the left foot. Bring that heel into your ass and give it a bump. Good. Now slowly come on down to your right forearm. Keep the foot. Right forearm, you love it. Yes. Oh, we're deep now. <laughs> Release the left arm to meet on top of the foot and dig into your lizard. Oh, that's nice. Good morning, silly goose. Good evening. Slowly walk the hands under the shoulders. Tuck the toes on the right. Find your high lizard lunge. Good. Now, cat flexion the spine as you sweep your right foot to meet your left. Tuck in the tail, Malasana Garland pose. Thumbs into your chest, tuck your tail down. Crown the head is up, chin is top. Oh, that's nice. Good. Slowly place the right hand down, open to the left. Bring the left hand down, anchoring the left knee, open to the right. Release the right hand, lift your bum, send your legs back, Chaturanga. Inhale up, dog. Exhale down, dog. Pedal, baby. Pedal. Pedal, pedal, pedal. Spread the fingers wide, externally rotate the shoulder. Engage that quad. Lift the skin behind your knee. Take your gaze to your navel. Relax the head and neck. Inhale, left leg. Exhale, round the back knee to chest. Place it between the hands. Low line, or high line, excuse me. Look to the front of your mat. Slowly extend the left leg. Excuse me, I fixed my time. Rotate that right foot just 45 degrees. And come on forward, parts with Tanasa. Inhale halfway. Empty your belly. Look up. Then tuck the chin. And exhale full. Inhale up halfway. Place the hand on the left side of the left foot, the inside, to a blocker on top, and then slowly open to the left. Extend the left leg without hyperextending. Not easy. Windmill the arm, frame the foot, bend the knee, inhale, left leg high. Exhale, round the back knee to chest. Inhale it up, bend the knee, stack the hips, look under the armpit. Breathe, breathe. Good. Drop down to that right forearm. Look over that right shoulder and find your foot. Yeah. Push down, three-legged down dog. Exhale, round the back, place it under the knee. Inhale, the right leg. Touch the chin. Inhale, up. Right knee meets the left, tuck your toes. Sit on your heels. Good, hands to heart center. Lean back. Good. Lift your heart. Knee back. 
Lift your heart. Look back. Rotate the shoulders back and down. Lift your heart. Lift your heart. Open them shoulders wide. Chin to the chest. Come on forward. Tuck them toes. Hands and Anjali Mudra. Lift the knees. Rotate them back and down. Knees higher. Open up the ankles. Splay the metatarsals wide. Keep your bum down. Lift your heart higher. Relax your head and neck. Slowly bring the chin to the chest. Come on forward. Tuck them toes. Drop your belly. Pull your heart through. Look up. Exhale. Round the back. Cat flex of the spine. Tuck toes. Drop belly. Lift. Exhale, round the back. Neutral spine. Good. Inhale the right leg. Bend the left knee and place it under the right. Bend the right knee and point. Good. Wrap the elbows, touch your chin and chest. Inhale up. Point the toes higher. Drop your belly. Look up. Oh, that's nice. Slowly extend the leg. Leave it there and release the right, the left. Exhale, round the back, knee to chest. Inhale, right back. Kick, stand that left foot, open to the right. I am on some hill right here. <laughs> I'm gonna roll right into the cabal. Reach up with the right hand. Find the posture if you want. Look out over that right shoulder, open up. Push the hand away. Release it, reach up first. Gaze over to the left thumb and slowly place the right foot down. Passive flexion with the toes. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, Ardha Hanumanasana. Inhale up, a generous bend to align the right knee with the ankle. Inhale, Anjaniyasana. Monkey pose. Lift the heart. Lift the back ribs. Look up and then even back. Monkey, monkey now. Drop your arms to cactus, palms spread wide. Keep lifting your heart. Bring only the chin to the chest. Locking Alejandra Banda, extend the arms. Spread your fingers wider. Start your twist to the right, follow your thumb. Right hand down, turn the left palm up. Twisted, peaceful, monkey ass, warrior. Windmill the arms. Frame the foot, this time dorsal flexion as you rain forward and forward. Inhale up, bend the knee, monkey it up. Reach high with the sky. Drop the right hand to the left hip. Spread those fingers wide. Look out over your right shoulder. Precocious wink. <laughs> Slowly bring the left hand down, keeping the arm bound. Open up to the right, bend the left knee. Place that foot in the hand, you'll love it. Come to the knife edge of the right foot. Bring the heel into the ass. And then, I know you can't wait, bring your left forearm down. <laughs> Look out over that right shoulder. Do you love it, Amy Wells? <laughs> Good, very slowly untether the arm. Bring the right arm to stack. Find your deep lizard. Oh, that's a hip opener, day. Breathe, peace. Inhale up, hands under the shoulders. Slam that foot down, tuck the toes, engage the quad, find your high lizard line. Oh, look up. Bring only the chin to the chest. Cat flex of the spine as you step your left foot to meet your right, finding your Malasana garland. Tuck the tailbone. Lift the heart. Shoulders back and down, chin slightly tucked. Breathe. Yeah. Breathe, breathe. Left hand down to leg, curve the left knee open to the right. Bring the right hand down, anchor that knee solid through the hand as you open to the left. Looking up. Slowly bring the left hand down, lift the bum high, send the legs back, touch them. Bunch of inhale, up dog. Exhale, Adimukha Svanasana, breathe. Pedal, 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 downward facing puck. Inhale, right leg up. 
Exhale, round the back of your chest, place it between the hands. Pivot that left foot, extend the right leg. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Forward Votanasana, pyramid pose. Inhale up, halfway. Left hand to the outer edge of the right foot. Inner edge to a block or on top. Twisting from the navel, open to the right. Paravrita, Parsvottanasana. Bring the right hand down to frame the foot. Plant the hands, cat flexion. Inhale, right leg, ha. Exhale, round the back, knee to chest. Inhale it up. Bend the knees, stack the hips. Drop down onto that left forearm. Look over the left shoulder, find peace. Oh yeah. Push down with the left hand, three-legged down dog. Exhale, round the back, knee to chest. Plant it under the navel. Inhale, left leg high. Wrap the elbows, touch your chin and chest. Inhale up. Left foot to beat the right this time. Hip distance apart, clear your calves. Sit your heels inside your heels. Mindful of not go past your edge. Supta Virasana. Find your space. Breathe. Follow your edge. Hold hands with yourself. Breathe peace. Have the knees yearning towards the center line. Protecting the joints. Elongate. Now send your head towards the back of my yard. Send your head towards the back of the room you're in. Lengthen your spine. Decompress the lumbar spine. And then stop. You're uncomfortable. It's okay. Use long, slow exhalations to get control of your consciousness. Let's do this. Two more breaths. I know you want to get out, but it's okay. Slowly protecting the lumbar spine, chin to chest. Come on forward. Toes together, knees wide. Balasana child. Find your child's pose and enjoy it. Balasana. Let your forehead hit that mat. I hope it's warm. Breathe peace. Think about what you're grateful for, man. If we get, <laughs> even if it's just for a short time, I don't want to use the word quarantine, maybe stay at home, whatever you want to call it. Look where your home is. Think about how unbelievably lucky we are to be, if we have to be stuck somewhere, to be stuck here, shit. You want to leave me stuck on the Outer Banks, <laughs> practicing yoga with my family and friends, hell, damn. I think I can live with that. Breathe peace, man, and think about people you love. Don't take for granted your breath. Breathe peace, Breathe. hear your next breath. Then just appreciate how much more you are than what you see. Good. Slowly take the hands out. Bring your shoulders as you lift the hips, as you come through table. When you do, I want you to tuck them toes, drop your belly, pull your heart through, look up. Exhale, round the back. Vitalasana, Marjasana, cat and cow, cat flexion of the spine. Stay here. Higher. Lift your upper back. Higher. Scoop out your navel more. Look at it. Higher. Good. Drop your belly now. <clears throat> Rotate the eyes and the elbows forward. Pull your heart through as you're looking cow. Now dump your belly more. Oh, yeah. Soften, soften, soften. One more time, we round the back. Good. Tuck toes this time. Pull your heart through. Close your eyes. And on the exhalation, lift your hips. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Breathe. Pedal, pedal, pedal. Lift the heels, bend the knees, hop, step, or jump. Inhale, halfway, Adho Uttanasana. Exhale, back. Generous bend to the knees as you inhale. Inhale, inhale, inhale. Dance the heart center, Samastiti. Bow your head, close your eyes, revisit your intention. Gaze softly into the arm, inhale the arm. Exhale, hinge and fold. Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, back. <clears throat> inhale, rock. Thumbs together, palms together, reach. Good. Hands to the heart center. All right, Tadasana, toes up, let's do it. Ten toes. 
Bring down only the little one. Bring down only the second one. Bring down only the third one. Now the long one. Then the big one, lift the arch, internally rotate the thighs. Shoulders back and down. Fingers yearn for the floor. Crown of the head is out. Belly is in, heart is high. Chin is slightly tucked, gaze is now soft. Ta-da, sana. Breathe. Mountain pose. Gaze softly into the room and inhale the arms. Good, now grounding through that left foot, Watch it lean over to the right. Good. Keep the shoulder open. Keep grounding through. Inhale up. Reach high. Now slowly bring the chin to the chest so the biceps are touching the ears. Keep the shoulders open. Ground it down through the right foot, lean to the left. More space. Interlace the fingers. Send just the index finger out. Shiva Mujas. So you can pull. Inhale up. Now. Tucking the tailbone, protecting the spine. Lift the back ribs. Lift the front ribs. Keeping your Shiva Mudra. Drop the head and take a generous back bend. Then untether the arms and just let them fall to the side like wings. Lifting the sternum. Closing your eyes. Chin to the chest, hands to heart center. So must keep easy. Good job. I want you to pick up. We're going to leave here a gentle better stint to the knees. You're going to jump it over to the left. Start fish, here we go. Oh, dang, here we go now. All righty. So, hands in front of you. Interlace the fingers. Good. I want you to take a generous bend to the left knee. Good, hold. Now reach to the left. Good. Rotate back to the right. And send that right foot all the way off your mat. And hover. <laughs> Come on back through center. And place it over the top left as you got undone. Oh, dang. Untether the arms and step that right foot out. Hands to the heart center. Yes. Turn and interlace the fingers. Watch. Good. Lean forward. Send that left foot all the way off. Oh. Amy, she's calling me on your phone. <laughs> Reach out. Hover that right foot. Balance now. Inhale up, untether the arms. Find your Kadandasana. All right, you got it now, right? Inhale up through center, hands at heart center, step it out. Okay, wide legged, let's do it. You got it now? Interlace the fingers. Good. We're going to take that right foot and sweep it all the way off to the left side of your mat. You're going to be leaning to the right. Oh, untether the arms, come through center. Left leg over the right, the right leg over the left, got it done. Balance, baby. Inhale, tip the eagle arms up, send that foot over. Interlace the fingers and sweep that left all the way to the other side. Keep it in the air. Good, inhale up through center. Got it done. <laughs> yes, baby girl. Inhale high, reach up. Step that left foot over. Drop the hands as you hinge and fold, prasarita. And fold. Did you love that one, Pam Lucas? Breathe peace. Prasarita Parastanasana, hands in line with the feet. Upper body hangs hard. Relax your head and neck. Upper body soft. Feet are parallel. Consciousness soft and smooth. Breathe peace. Good. Inhale up halfway. Good. I want you to rotate the toes on the right foot so they face me. Frame the foot. Good. Plant the hands and inhale the right leg high. Exhale, round the back knee to chest. Inhale it up. Release the right to meet the left. Pedal. Good. Lift the heels. Bend the knees. Hop, step, or jump. Inhale halfway. Exhale, fold. 
Inhale halfway and grab the big toes of the left foot. Generous bend to the right knee as you inhale it up, right arm high. Open to the left. Hit forward and fall. <laughs> then bring the left to meet the right. Uttanasana. Inhale half whack. Exhale bow. You think you're having a hard time. Try doing this on a hip. Inhale again half whack. Grab the big toes with the right foot. Generous bend to the left. Inhale the foot high. Over to the right. Uttita hasta padangustasana. Slowly hinge forward and fall. <laughs> Release the foot and fall. <laughs> Inhale, rise. <laughs> Hands to heart center. Good job, kiddies. Oh my god, I was really trying on that one too. Inhale up. Exhale back. Inhale halfway. Exhale, step your right foot back. Step your left foot back. Down, down. Inhale through plank. Slowly make your way to your belly. Oh. I don't know if we have commercials on these broadcasts, but I just found a granola bar in my bag. Oh. <laughs> Hands under the shoulders, lift your heart. Bhujangasana. Good. Slowly bring the chin to the chest and let it hang. Good. Inhale up. Come down until you can take your hands off the mat. Scooch that right arm all the way to the left. Left arm in front. Inhale, look up. Exhale back. Inhale up. Slide the hands. Use your core and your hyperextensor muscles. Hands under the shoulders. Rotate the shoulders back and down. Big toe together. Zip the inner thighs. Push and gossip. Slowly come down enough you can take the hands off the mat. Hold. Sneak that left arm all the way over. Right arm to the left. Inhale, look up. Exhale, rain. Keep walking those fingers as far as you can, but keep the shoulders square. Take your hands off the corners of your mat. Take your feet off the corners of your mat. Good. Now, bring the chin to the mat or the forehead. Inhale your left arm, your right leg. Bring them down. Inhale, right hand, left foot. Good. Lift the chin, look forward. Keep a nose in the air, stick your left hand up. Keep your left foot up. Take your right foot up and fly. Yes, fly, fly. Swim back, palms face up. Shalabhasana. Toes together, lift your heart and quads. Exhale, come on down to the right cheek and relax. Your head, take the other cheek. Inhale, 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 inhale. Let it go. Good job, silly gooses. You okay, Jenna? All right. Slowly take those hands under the shoulders. All right. So you're going to bring your legs out, mat distance apart. You're going to take the hands down to the ribs, way down here. Keep the elbows in, hug the ribs. Look at the feet, out wide. Now peel up, peel up. Don't just use all arms. Use the hyperextensive muscles of the lumbar spine. Now look forward, not up. Bend your right knee. Look over your right shoulder. Can you see it? Good. Realign the head. Bend your left knee. Look over your left shoulder. Can you see it? Come forward and bring the toes together. Lift your heart and look up. Oh, now close your eyes. Your head should fall on your feet. Jenny, is my head and my feet yet? <laughs> One inch, she said. Slowly come on forward. Nice job. Lean over to the right. You can place the palm down, which I can't because of my elbow. Or you can place it up underneath the quad. Lean over, clear, roll on to your right. Keeping the chin to the floor. Shoulders pressed down, lift, Shalabhasana. Good 
Good. Yes, bring your heels together. Squeeze them up. Yes, extend them straight. Yeah. <laughs> Relax your head and neck. Keep your toes together, knees spread wide. Kick back into a velocity child's pose. Good job. Well done, silly gooses. Well done. All righty. Relax a couple circles of breath. Good. Remind yourself what you're grateful for again. Remind yourself that you're a pure, unadulterated, honest, loving awareness. Good. Slowly come on up. Kick your legs out to one side. Your hands to the other and come sit with your legs extended. Good. Bring that left knee in. Place it over the top. Wrap your right hand around. Twist to the left. It's going to be easier with the hill, but evidently not. Would you really Breathe. Now, unfurl the twist. Come on down to your right forearm. Yep. Just like that. Don't collapse to the shoulder, girl. Reach up with the left hand. If you can keep your left foot in the air, do so. If you have to keep it on the ground, it's fine too. Lift your hip. Oh, dang. And then lift and reach forward with the left hand. Keep that foot in the air. Yes. Oh, that's nice. Good. Slowly bring that left arm under. And extend both legs for a plank. On your forearms. Nice. Hold. Come on back to the hip. Make your way to side plank. Hip down. Inhale up. Forward fold. Punch the foot up. To the next plane. Inhale halfway. Exhale fold. Good. Inhale up. We'll bring the right leg out. Place it up and over. Left hand around. Twist to the right. Breathe. That's it. Untether the posture. Left forearm down. Parallel with the short edge of your mat. Now, you can rotate the toes to the left if you want. Keeping the left foot in the air if you can, reach up with the right hand. Lift your hip. Now, if you want to put your left foot down, it's fine. Lift, blank. Then reach forward with that right hand. Oh, shit. You love it. Rotate the upper body, run the arms parallel, extend the right leg, plank on your forearms. Hands are stacked. Good. Slowly open to the right. Vashistasana. Left hip down. Inhale up. Exhale, Pashimatanasana. Breathe. Very good. Inhale halfway. Exhale back. Inhale, rise. Now pick your hands up. Scooch on foot. Bend the knees and we'll grab it. So lift in the heart. Pull the heart through, look up. Seated cow. Exhale, round the back, chin to chest. Hold. Inhale, left. Look up. Exhale, bow. Not bow. Pull. Whatever. Round. Lift the heels. Roll out your back. Drop only your right foot, but extend your left. Grab it with the big toe, the ankle, the shin, whatever, or a strap if you brought one. Then flex the right foot and extend. Dropping the right arm to T. Slowly open to the left. Your gaze goes to the right. Utita hasta padankustasa. Extend your right leg. Flex the right foot, extend it towards me. Right foot towards me, Aubrey. Yes, there you go. Look to the right and open up that hip. Inhale through center. Exchange hands on the strap or the leg. Drop your left hand to the left. Bring it over to the right. Gaze left. Damn, I went right down that hill. 
Throw me a life ring. In up back through center. Release the foot. Keep it flexed towards the sky. And inhale the right. Good. Reach up and grab the big toes with the right. Flex the left, but slowly bring it down. Left arm stays at T. You open to the right, gaze left. In supta variety. Soften the skin on your face. If you're outside, look at the clouds. If you're inside, see if you have to paint the ceiling. Relax the upper back. Gazing left. Letting the breath take that hip as far open as it wants to. Inhale up, switch hands. Drop your right hand to T. And bring that right foot to the left. Gazing to the right. Good. Twisting behind the navel. Delightful twist. Breathe. Round us. Inhale through Love center and let the foot go. And I said, I can't. Slowly bring that right heel down under control. Then slide the heels in and bend the knees. Leaving the soles together. Let the knees fall to the sides. Place your left hand on your belly. Your right hand on your heart. Supta Baddha Konasana. Recline bound angle. Trace circles of breath. We'll do some three-part breathing here. We're going to breathe in. We're going to fill the belly first. We're going to continue to inhale, filling the ribs. Continuing inhaling, filling the chest. We'll hold. Then we're going to exhale, releasing the chest first. Then the ribs. Finally the belly. So it's going to go one, two, three. Three, two, one. Ready? Inhale, belly. Ribs. To my chest. Aubrey, let your knees fall out to the side. Good. So, yeah, keep the soles and the feet together. Exhale, chest. Ribs, belly. Inhale, belly. Ribs, chest. Exhale, chest. Ribs, belly. Trace these circles of breath. Now do it on your own three times. Trace these circles of ocean-like spiracles, waves of prana going through your body. Souls. They sound like the ocean. They're moving like the ocean. I can hear the ocean almost from here. Oh, damn. We just so happen to be made of three quarters salt water. Eh? So much irony. But just like you, the ocean never looks the same twice. A few more circles of breath as you allow your blood pressure to drop, your sympathetic nervous system to ease, your consciousness to still. Good. Now inhale, relax the hands, bring the knees together, squeeze them tightly, heel toe your feet off your mat, squeeze. Releasing the psoas. So squeeze your knees together. Good, and you release it. If you don't feel it, walk your feet out a little bit further. Good. Great little relax with the knees from the lumbar spine. And then heel toe those feet back in so that they are parallel with the hips. Or I'm sorry, parallel and hip distance apart. And walk them in close. Drop your hands to the sides, palms face down. Tuck the tail. When you're ready, engage your quads. Lift your hips. Set to Bandar Sharvan Gasana. Good. Push down with the right foot. Inhale the left leg. Hold. Even Rotate it to the left. Bend the knee and stack it over the right. Push down and lift your hips higher. Slowly articulate the spine so your sacrum makes it down. Heel toe that right foot all the way over to the left. Flexing both feet. Fall into your soup to fire lock. Yeah, so that bottom right shin should be parallel with the short edge of your mat. The feet should be flexed. The knees should be stacked into the ankles. And the shin should be completely atop each other. Clips at the bottom. If you don't think you have a guru, shake the rust from your hips. Create freedom. Freedom, freedom, freedom. 
Oh, anybody ever really wants. Be happy. Healthy. Free. Inhale up. Heel toe that foot back. Slide the left ankle down the right shin so it's parallel with the other. Turn the palms down. Tuck the tail. Lift your bum. Set to Bandar Sharmangasana. Lift higher. Now take contraction out of your ass. Send it to the quads. Lay the toes wide, push them out of way. And then inhale the arms overhead. Palms face up. Exhale, keep your ass in the air and slowly bring the hands down to the ground. Push down with the left foot, inhale the right. Flex the foot and hold. Rotate it to the right, bend the knee. Place it over the left. Hold. Articulate one vertebra at a time. Until the sacrum comes down and you fall into the arms of a friend for a nice hug. Nice. Then take your left foot, heel toe it all the way to the right. Make it sure it's parallel with the short edge of your mat. The feet are flexed, the joints are stacked. You collapse them just like an accordion. And you fall into your soup to fire lava. <laughs> Maybe this time you bring your hands, interlacing the fingers and hammock your head. And just look up. Friends practicing outside, amen. Folks inside, close your eyes if you want. Just enjoy your space. Remind yourself that you are loving awareness. You're free. Free of sorrow. He has his free of pain. Or dance. Good. Or game. Slowly inhale up and then heel toe that left foot all the way to the left. Slide the right ankle down the left shin until their hip distance apart. Bring them into the bump. Tuck the tail, lift your hip for one last bridge. Satubanda Sharvangasana. Then slowly articulate one vertebra at a time. You make your way into the arms of a friend, bring your knees into your chest and give yourself a squeeze. Roll along the spine and come to sit. And we will do another back bend. My Via Progeny, my only son, would you come join me? Folks, is this commercial? I'm going to do a quick hair and makeup thing. All right, good. Son, would you come over and show Murdva Janarasana? For those of you who want to practice, and some of you know him on the World Wide Web as Dimples, Pamela. Fingers face the scapula, heels in close to sits bone. Tuck the tailbone, engage the quads. Lift your heart. Oh, ah. what a delightful twist. Nice. <laughs> and then come out when you're ready. Good job. If you'd like to practice out or ushras the camel, do whatever you want. Enjoy another back bend. So go ahead. Do your thing. We've done some backbending earlier. We're just gonna do two tonight. I'll tell you how I do good. it. Good, 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 good. You do whatever serves you. Send the lobes of your pelvis towards me, Jess Bonet. A phrase. Yes, lift your heart higher. Open your throat more. I now, slowly, slowly untuck them toes, Bonet. Loving uh -oh. awareness. Careful now, baby. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Send the hips towards me. Mutter under your breath, I love you, Pickles. Yes. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Everybody just delightful. I am loving Come out whenever the hell you're ready. Do the appropriate counter pose. You're in Nerdva Dhanurasana, Shikrasana, or wheel, doing knees to chest. If you're in a restorative back bend, stay right where you are. If you are in Ustrasana, camel, take a child's pose, please. I good, am good, good. Alrighty, come on up and sit. We'll talk about an inversion. Okay. So as you're all well aware of, um, we, uh, we invert because of our lymph system it has no natural pump and it's time to change lymphatic flow of things. So we have tons of options. Tons of options. All right, the very first one is restorative inversion. Now this I want to talk about just for a minute because it's just a handful of us friends that I know from the Kidiok Studio well. A restorative inversion doesn't have to be done at the end of every yoga practice. If in fact you haven't practiced yoga for the day and you just feel like putting your feet up in the air, put a bolster, a block, put a something underneath it and put your feet up the wall. If you have a sandbag, 
good. If you don't have a sandbag, go get a bag and fill it with sand. And then put it in a pillowcase. Tie it up and then put it across the top of your feet as your feet are in the air. So, Jenny Lee, would you give me a dead bug if you'd be so kind? So, so dead bug, just the restorative inversion. But the options are when you're up against the wall, and my friend Amy Wells has a wonderful flow that she does this with, is here. So that's just your standard dead bug. That's the life. But then stay here for a while. You can place heavy sandbags across the top of the feet if you're up against the wall. And then if you want to, while you're, if this was a wall, you could drop your legs open and just allow, so open up wide, Jenny. And just let the inner thighs to slide down the wall. After 18 circles of breath, things are going to open up. And this iliosacral capsule, the inner thigh, the inner hip, will start to let go. It's delightful. And then maybe you bring the soles of the feet together for supta baddha konasana. You let the knees lay up to the side. And you're down the wall, you know. And you just go ahead and you just lay like that and you just let them open up. You can take your hands to the knees and push them out. This is my, for my friends at home especially. Now, if you're done with doing that, but do that just for the hell of it. Just do that. It's nice. And then if you want to practice shoulder stand, you let it rip. Salama Sharmagasana, walking the hands down the spine. Good. Squeezing the elbows in close together, energizing through the inner ankle. Don't take your dristy away. Don't look to the sides. Keep it to the tip of your nose, your third eye, to your toes, or straight through them. That's it. And then if you want to get on your heads or your hands, you know the routine. Measure out the forearms, the length of your elbow to the finger, interlace, crown of the head. Cheers, Tatsuna. I don't know. Just don't go that way. <laughs> yeah, I think you should go uphill. That's fine. All right, she's not going to demonstrate the way he normally does because she's going to fall on the canal. We're on like a hill. Okay. So placing the crown of the head in, energize through the radius of the forearm, squeezing down, energy through, twist you to the tip of the nose, walk the toes in as much as you can. Walk, 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 walk. And then slowly the ballast of the bum goes back until you can inhale the heels up. Then aligning the ankle, knee, hip, and through the center of the shoulder and forearm, you push down through the top. Sure, sauce and a headstand. Well done. Not easy on a hill either, kid. Well done. And lift it up with a ton of low core strength, by the way. She inhaled those feet against an ankle and incline. Not easy. Good job. That child's pose. Good job. For the shoulder standards, Matsyasa and Fish, Susan, Pam, you both know it. So you know the routine. Mary, I'm not sure if you're there, but you both, you all know that. So go get upside down, silly gooses. Enjoy your, your time upside down. Good. Now the benefits of a restorative inversion are just like the benefits of a handstand. So if you want to go do a handstand at the wall, go do a handstand. If you don't, don't put a bolster under your ass and enjoy yourself. Good. Good. Breathe peace. Stay here forever. Oh, thank you, man. Good deal. Good. Jessica Bonacci, perfect elbows tonight. My little girl. She's finally growing up. Uh, Arby, stay right there. I'm going to adjust you for a minute, even though I'm not supposed to, but it kills me not. Ready? Good. Good, kiddies. Nice. Perfect. Good, 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 good. Nice job. Try to keep the giggling under control there. My, my daughter's come out of headstand with a weird karate kick. It's genetic or something. <laughs> Emily came out of the feet up trainer the other day like a, like a bucking bronc. <laughs> it was dangerous. Good. Come out whenever you're ready, babies. Don't rush, but when you do, take the appropriate counter pose. Head standards, it's ba balasana. Child's pose. Shoulder standards, fish, matsyasana. Amy, you don't want to, you want to spot? Good, good, good. And relax. Do your thing. Stay as long as you want. Serve yourself. You know the routine. Embrace this time you have with yourself and embrace, embrace this time we have together, be it virtual or not. There's a name. Well, so. my friend Ram in the back there. Which you really are. Good. That cup is set. We'll practice just Please a few rounds of pranayama. Love I think it's crucial. Everything you are aware sit comfortable. Of. Just sit comfortable because it might be the only time you sit comfortable Sky. tonight. That you're not in need of something or the TV's in the background or some news that's making you freak. 
or your phone or your computer or work or things you could be doing or you're cleaning or whatever. So even if you don't want to do any pranayama right now, how about if we just sit for a minute, you know? But if you do want to, pranayama is a wonderful tool to throw in your, your belt, you know? It's another one of the tools that we have that yoga keeps providing us, keeps giving us all these tools to deal with funkiness, you know? The funkiness of everyday life, so let's sit up. This is uh, Vinaloma Analog or Nadi Sadanha alternate nasal breathing. I've been doing this over and over and over again because I really wish it becomes, I really hope it becomes a part of people's practice. It's actually the next run, so people are like, I'm really into yoga, man. If you're really into yoga, study a little pranayama. You know, it's the next climb up. And then you only get to the 50 yard line. Then we get to midfield, man. And then when you get on the other side, shit, that's what the next place. All this stuff's just preparation for the juice. Inhale the right hand. Sit up nice and tall. Close the right nostril with your thumb. And inhale through the left. Close it with your ring finger and hold. Exhale right. Inhale right. Close and hold. Exhale left. I am loving women. Inhale up. Close and hold. Exhale right. Inhale right. Close and hold. Exhale up. Close and hold. Exhale right. Drop your right hand to your knee. Relax. Sit up nice and tall. Keep your eyes closed. Keep your gaze soft. Breathe with natural rhythms. Natural circle. Breathe in. Breathe out. Now breathe in and inhale. 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 Hold. Exhale, let it rip. Good. Inhale. 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 Words of hope and love. Exhale, let it go. Make this one rip. Inhale. 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 Sip, 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 sip. Hold. Open up, let it go. All right, babies. Make a few movements as possible. Keep your gaze as soft as possible. Make your way out to your backs. Cover up if you're going to get chilly. If you're at home, do whatever you want to do. But make yourself as completely comfortable as you possibly are. And all that is is that miraculous road towards the selfless service of others. And, and then the more and more we do this, the less and less we run into uh, the things that don't serve us. So take contraction out of your body. Take contraction out of every muscle and tendon in your bones, your ligaments. Tendons. Release the breath. The breath that's been given you. Everything you need and all the guidance, support throughout this practice. Let it go. Let it come in and out of your nose without any conscious awareness at all. Just enough to sustain. Maybe the only thing you even remotely acknowledge is the temperature as it enters your nostrils. As an exit. When your body is soft and your breath is soft, relax your head, neck, shoulders, and face. Soften the skin on the corners of your mouth and the edges of your eyes. Soften your ears. Soften the skin across all your forehead. Soften your mind. 
release your low jaw, then the tongue in the mouth. Breathe in peace and exhale fear. Breathe in peace. Exhale judgment. Breathe in peace. And let yesterday go with forgiveness. Breathe in peace. And embrace tomorrow without expectation. Today is the day. Today is the day. Today is the day. To love. Enjoy your journey, silly gooses. Enjoy your journey. hand in my soul can reach out and touch Jerusalem, as my other hand tastes the beauty of the Rhine, and my bare foot can stand upon the holy ashes of rain, each drop a fallen phoenix, that sang out from the fire of union with clay. The hills, the valleys, the beasts, the vineyards, the sacred meadows on our earth and body, they shall pass and ascend as all form does, tiring of the space within a cage. For all crowds, the soul but the infinite. Ascenders to God we are. Look how we enrich this planet with our melting organic shadows. Wondrous shadows are all but he. What a womb God has, what wild love he must have made himself for days and days without stopping. To have given birth to all you can imagine, to all you cannot conceive. Draw a circle around the frontiers of space. Barely can God fit a toe in here. All languages taken an oath to fail to describe him. <coughs> Any attempt to do so is the height of arrogance and will always declare some kind of war. The inner one does the undermine our strength and the outer conflicts and maim breath. I cried out one night in the madness of separation from love, in the madness of doing, of trying to add to the perfect, for the perfect is all. The awakened heart is like a luminous sphere, just giving without thought. To any who may close or gaze at it, the soul becomes blessedly lost to all but its own holy being. When we cannot be who we are, can we cannot be our divine senses become mute, mute and sick from the insanity of judging and what made the immaculate. Who must God have made love to in order to have given birth to all this sound? to the sacred spectrum of color, sense, music, from the wind's body, and existence's plea for mercy, that plea for the real mercy, the unbearable joy. Once we had four legs and tails, so useful to balance our raid into heaven, and I found them again. I am swimming galaxy tonight. Angels prowl around me, hoping I will toss them a fresh piece of light. Here, dears, 
Here, my sack is full. The universe rents space for me, and the oceans are drawn from my well. How can that be? For I cannot touch Jerusalem with my other hand taste the beauty of the Rhine. Yes, I can kiss Jerusalem with my mouth and taste the wonders of the Rhine. Ever so slowly, baby. Take a conscious breath. Just nudge yourself back to the old space. That home, holy house that is you. Then I invite you ever so mindfully and thoughtfully to take a gentle wiggle to your toes, fingers, nose, and lips. And nudge yourself physically back to your own holy house in my backyard. Your living room, your room, your gym, whatever you got. When your head rolling from side to side slow, I invite you to roll off to one side. The one that serves you most. Rolling out to your right side, the lineage of yoga is embracing the masculine side. If you'd like to embrace your feminine side, roll out to your left. I'm not gonna tell. Yoga Chitta Vrita Narodaha. Yoga is the cessations and fluctuations of nothing but a squirrely mind. So our mind is outwardly nuts, wiggles and squiggles and responds to everything, curious, hungry, thirsty. This practice of physical asana allows our body to be still enough to keep our mind under wraps, to get a hold of our consciousness enough so that we can Limp self-awareness. Sometimes there's so much environmental in our lives that we just kind of lose sight of our divinity. So, sit up whenever you're ready. A little bit stiller. A little closer to home. Alrighty, kids. You know, I could rant for a minute. I'll cut you loose. My friends online as well. Um, all right. So there's so much unknown. My mom was even saying it the other day, like all these things they keep telling you on the news, and I don't know. I only hear because I, I haven't been watching very closely. But um, there's so many unanswered questions about, especially this whole thing. You know, we're so worried about everything. We don't know if, if God forbid, we get sick, how long we're going to be sick, and who's going to be sicker, and what happens to you when you're sick? And does it last for two days, four days a week? Do you suffer? Do you not? Do you have all of these unanswered questions? Just so many unanswered questions. So much unknown. So much unknown. So if you don't know, and you're not going to know, and you're only going to get fed the information known that, you know, that we're supposed to know, you better have faith in faith, you know? And I'm not talking about Jesus, Allah, Buddha, or whatever. You know what I mean? I'm not talking about the Bible, the Quran. I'm not talking about any of them. I'm, you know, it's, I'm talking about your faith in what helps you feel the best you. So that's going to take, well, that's going to take, first of all, stillness, because you're going to have to be with yourself to understand it. And then you're going to have to sit there amongst it. You're going to have to let everything fall away that's just constantly in your grill. You're going to have to be quiet. You're going to have to sit with yourself for a minute. You're going to have to hear your own breath. And then you're going to have to have faith in your faith faith and love and faith and peace and, and then that if anything else will just allow you to feel better it's not going to answer your questions but maybe it'll make you feel better and if you're feeling better all the time maybe you're just not so 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 compounded by the negativity that's coming through in every single person's mouth because that's all we talk about and rightfully so this is gigantic you know it's absolutely enormous i don't even know the enormity of the whole thing but Maybe we talk about other things, and maybe we laugh a little bit longer, or we love a little bit louder, and maybe we're just a little more present, and we're just not constantly just the new identity of Corona 19 or whatever, you know? So maybe it takes just rolling around, because, you know, before I do this practice, it's harder for me to, to, to be honestly aware of myself. But right after, I'm so completely aware of myself that I can't tell you how thankful I am that this practice, nothing else does it, nothing else makes me sit still long enough to, to be my best self. So um, I'm always much less of an ass after yoga than I am before. So if we could 
get less assy and more sassy. And let's just do some more yoga. Thank you all so much. Thanks for being with me today. Thanks for uh, honing your skills towards dealing with the inevitable. Thanks for putting more shit in your spiritual tool belt. And thanks for shining. And thanks for breathing. And thanks for being with me. And thanks for being a part of my life. And the light in me thinks the light in you is ever so bright. Mary Lou, namaste to you. Peace and light, y'all. Oh, peace and light. Namaste. Peace and light. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day. Be nice to each other. Kindness begets kindness. Do your thing.